Hey, hi everybody. This is Dami with the DM3D Rev Studios. Welcome to this video where I'll be talking about the importance of sketching your ideas out. Okay, so this is going to be cutting across a number of creative fields. So let's get right into it. The software I'll be using is one of my favorites made by Autodesk, which is Sketchbook Pro. Okay, so it's pretty useful if you're transitioning from being a traditional art artist to being a digital. And also if you're an architect that is just moving from traditional sketching To digital and also just getting into other popular Autodesk software packages like AutoCAD and Revit architecture. Okay, or the Revit package that comes with the tools for architecture, MP, and structures. Okay, already said a lot there, so let's get back to what this video is about. So, before you get on a project or something, it's always advisable to sketch out what you have in mind. I don't believe in jumping straight onto paper or the computer to start working immediately on whatever project you have in mind. It's also one of my weaknesses because back in architecture school, I couldn't just start immediately on a project until I have sketched out the madness going on with the ideas in my head, my imagination all over, all over the place. So it always made my friends doubt me when I say I haven't started. And they'll be like, yeah, right, yeah, right. But once I got my sketches down, I protected that paper like it was a million dollars so it wouldn't get lost sometimes i would go with it to my room because i know how important that is i have sketched everything going on in my mind and once that paper goes missing that's the end so it's more or less like the blueprint to getting anything done so like i said we'll be cutting across a number of industries so we're starting off with my discipline, of course, which happens to be architectural sketches. Okay, so I'm going to write it out. I'm going to be using different colors for whatever I sketch. It's going to be pretty simple. Okay, so let's simply write that out. So usually you start off by sketching your plan. The windows, the door. Probably is going to have some stairs or you can just make it run. Another window here if you like. Just for cross ventilation. You could put where the columns will be. Right, and maybe a desk. Because this is more or less like a gatehouse or security outpost. Pretty small. And yeah, let's add a small toilet. Right. A window to the back. Toilet seat, the sink, and that's it. You could also put the dimension if you like in millimeters or meters, whatever works for you. Right. I can change this to another color. 
like it's a different shade of it's fine something. Cool. So I could give this a value because one zero fifty would make this two thousand six. And you get the idea. So. Okay, so moving on, let's draw an elevation. Okay, I just want this to have what is called a parapet roof, which is just made of concrete. Okay. i show you how it will look. There's the door. This is usually called the front elevation, but it depends on what cardinal point this elevation is. So if it's on the northwest, or southeast, you make it make it the appropriate elevation even though this is actually what you see in the front but for the title block you put something else and you can also sketch what the height will be and all that so let's move on to creating a perspective drawing so this is going to be Easy, so to say. I need to erase that and in Sketchbook Pro, once you've chosen another tool from the previous one, what you can do is hit S to switch back. Okay, so let's do a quick perspective drawing of this. Nothing too fancy, just Getting our ideas out. Okay, so. And it is, I know it looks like I'm doing this easily, but it took a while to be able to master this. So you can too, with practice. Okay, so. I can put the walkway. There's the door. Another window. This was the window hood. More or less a shader that protects too much sunlight getting to it. The building and that does a general idea. So this is an example of what architectural sketches look like. So let's move on to the next one, which will be for graphic design. And we'll choose another color and do something more purple. So we'll call it this. Design scams. Let's do that number again. It was simply awful. To me, that is. So, switch back. It's an S like I did before. To squeeze it in like juice. Just ease tight. And then I put design scams. Okay, so if you happen to be a graphic designer, this is pretty handy. Like if you're creating logos, you can skip them out. I have an idea for the logo. Okay, so I'm going to create a grid 
already created a grid. So I'm already imagining how it will look like. You can spread it out a bit. It's also how to you have like graph paper. You know, it doesn't have to be plain white if you have problems visualizing how it will look like, like grid paper, grid paper will help. Okay, so let's figure this out. It's going to be more or less like a G. Okay, so it's going to get here. It's going to start here. It's going to go here too. I'm going to shade it out so that you see where it is. And there was something I wanted to add there. But you know what? It still works. So switch back with S again. I just have an I. So like whatever brand that is, it's just GI. It doesn't actually mean that it may work exactly the way you want, but it gives you a guide. Okay, you can make other options like GI, the circle, and that's basically it. You can also create something like a business card. You don't give an idea of what you want. Just sketch it out if you want it to be a letterhead. Same thing, imagine what so you want the logo here, here, you want the logo there, some text, something as a footer apart from the header. And you could also imagine. Something for a t shirt. Not sure of sketches. Same thing. Just putting all of this out there and labeling it, like putting labels, putting tags so that you know what you were thinking. So, moving on, let's move to another of my favorites, which is for comic illustrators and artists which is thumbnails yeah it's not advisable to get into drawing anything if you haven't done a thumbnail so probably i have a character that is going to be standing in front of lots of people So we're going to get out my basic form, how it's going to be. And it's going to have people in front of it. Could also just create an idea panoramic feeling to guide you. Make sure you stay within fill the view, you fill it in, and then basically add some perspective. You could also try and get an idea of what is behind. Well, that's all up to you. We're working with some constrained space here, so. I don't want to push my luck, I have others to show. And then the next is storyboards. 
Okay, so this is basically how any film or animation gets done. We have anything from three to six panels and you fill it with whatever you want. And there's also a guide on how the shots will be, how extremely close or far. Basically, we had to make as many pages as this, and yes, I need to write that there, storyboards. And then changing colors again, once more, different shades, we will do the last but not the least, which is what I like to call timeline transitions. This is how I plan my videos. I actually sketch out how it will look, what effects, the percentage, the sound will be, and all that. It's, it's inspired by the playhead, so more or less, I zoom in. Holding the spacebar key lets us zoom in and pan out a bit. So, so that you can see what I'm doing here. So, let's just say you have your screen recording. I wanted to call that screen recording. So this is your screen recording. This is the audio. You can say that it can have like music from say YouTube. Facebook. That's why I'm putting it there royalty free so that you don't get any copyright slamming. And then you can also put montage. That's your design here. You can call it D. Have some effects. And then some music too here. Same thing royalty free music. Something different. Do the same. Let me extend this a bit because the screen recording went a little bit further than I expected. Yeah, let's make this longer. Switching back, hitting S. There's a lot of back and forth while sketching, which is normal. And then, so this is the intro. This is going to be the outro. So you can make it much more detailed depending on how you want it. But most times what I do is sketch out how I did a video, especially if I'm going to do it over and over again, be it something for my channel, be it a video for say a freelance website like Fiverr or Upwork. I just make sure I have some kind of sketch from what I did first so that I don't have to wrap my brain how I did it the first time. So just like I did on the intro side, the design, the effects, and then the royalty free music. You can call it RYM. Do the same here, RYM. Okay, and probably Give the audio some shading, some different shaded. Okay, so you can get as detailed or as loose as you want. It's all up to you. Okay. So we've come to the end of 
this video, don't forget to subscribe, kindly like the video, leave a comment, tell me what you think, share with your friends too. Until I come at you with another informative video, stay creative. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.